Welcome to home setting, a dime at a time. Hey, I'm Bernie. Greg just went to get something, so I thought I would do the intro now. And it's actually late into the filming. I'll just pop this into the beginning of the film. Uh, today's video is all about putting in our service. We um, actually stopped work for about a week, a week and a few days to wait for the service to come in because we bought it by mail. There were, no, there were none of them close to where we live. So uh, yeah, we bought this. It's bigger than what we need, as Greg will explain later on. But it is what it is, and the price was right. And when you're homesteading on a dime, when the, when the price is right, you should jump on it. So anyway, enjoy the video. And uh, if you have any chores to do, or you want to get homesteading, and what's stopping you? Just give her, eh? Enjoy the video. Staples. Oh, okay. No, but I can't get them out here. Hmm. Where'd you get them from to begin with? I got them from Winrock. And where would that be? Oh, Winrock Supply. They got them in Calgary, Edmonton, Oakridge. Oh. How many years ago? Uh, I think I got that batch just before I met you. What's that for? You can paint it. Okay. It's the only piece of half inch plywood I had. switch to that bit and go through the wall so I can put that pipe in.
if you take it slowly, you want to show them, and you've got a perfect little hole in the insulation, if you grab it bit by bit, it should leave you a perfect hole inside. services in. Thank you. Um, I had, uh, I'm just trying to think. So How do you get those other wires into the service? Just, it's coming in right now. Shit, I should have pre-drilled the holes, actually. Yep.
pull the wires out of the way, yep. then they're out of the way, right? <laughs> You guys are watching on the thing there. If you guys don't see it, I'm actually leaving a group of wire at the bottom here. That way if I go if I make a screw up or something in the panel. So now if I do any more wiring, it has to be done in what they call uh, BX, which is uh, armored cable. And uh, Later on, after I'm done, what I'll do is I'll get some, just some, basically, uh, uh, regular caulking. And what I'll do is, because uh, now I drilled the, these holes through the vapor barrier, I'll just caulk them, I'll just squirt some caulking in the holes just to, to plug them. Just so I don't get a draft coming through. A lot of times, depending on the situation, sometimes you can get... Uh, if your humidity is really high, it'll actually ice up, so I'll just fill it with caulking and it just stops the air from coming through. It's not a huge necessity, but it's nice to have it done. Technically, I can actually just put all my wiring into the service already. Okay. If I do that, then all my shit's done. And then this corner is done, tidied up. I'm not tripping over wires anymore. Okay. Um, this service, yes, for what we're doing, I could have got away with a little service. Believe it or not, if I went to a small one with that many circuits in it, the panel was more expensive. So, this is my, uh, uh, my dad's electrical contractor, so I learned the electrical trade through my dad. And uh, for a lot of years, we used to use uh, federal Stavok, so this is my, my very first square D panel. So I'll see how it goes. Pull my main wire in. I got one that goes here. And I got one that goes here. And then my neutral goes here. So this is my, this will be my main. And these are my little ones. So I'm going to have to I'm going to take some of these knockouts here and put some connectors in and I'm going to start running some wire. The uh, 
kind of sneak in behind. You can see that. You put that thing in there and my dad had strong hands. He could just push them right in. Uh, when I'm doing putting wires into these uh, through the connectors, I generally, as a rule, I don't see now it's in there. I don't usually put any more than two wires into each hole, so or each connector. So that's just my uh, preference. That's what I was taught, so that's what I do.
there you can see it it's kind of dark in here but now my panel is in it's not this one's not hooked up yet because I got to pull the wire that'll be another day when I do that but I wanted to hang it get the wires put in so everything was done so the only big issue that Bernie's going to have we're going to tape off the round <laughs> and nicely paint this so but I'll have it taped when I tape it I'll tape tape the wood in so there'll be some drywall mud on here I'm going to tape it off so it's all sealed off nicely when I go to mud it and uh I put some tape on the end of the pipe because wind was blowing in through there like crazy so but uh yeah so tomorrow we'll finish off hanging the drywall and uh because I got uh one sheet a little bit there so about two sheets of drywall then uh this should be done and uh so that'll be a thing for tomorrow and uh We'll see you then.